Hello everybody, in today's video we'll be covering your Imbic test. Invict test stands for indole, MRVP, and citrate. It is used to make a basic profile of an unknown bacteria. The indole is what we would consider an indirect test, while the MRVP and citrate are considered direct tests. When you're doing your lab for the first time, all that you will be doing is a simple inoculation. Your indole will be a simple stab technique that you wanna make sure that you're trying to go in as straight as possible and not come up in a jagged formation. MRVP, all that you'll be doing is a simple inoculation of the bacteria because this is a broth. And your citrate, this is a little bit of a tricky one. So I drew a side profile of it over here. And this is also a solid agar in the test tube as well. What you'll wanna do is once you've used your aseptic transfer to acquire your bacteria, you will want to come down into the test tube without touching it. Try to get as far down to the bottom as possible, place it down, and come up in a squiggling motion. Trying your best not to pierce the agar, but simply place the bacteria evenly across the entire length of the citrate tube. As soon as you've done that, go ahead and place your bacteria in the incubator and wait to come back for analysis. And then once you've come back for the analysis, I would recommend that you start off by doing the MRVP first, because this test, sometimes it's quick, as quick as 10 minutes. Other times it'll take forever, like an hour and a half. There's no way to really know. So it's best to do this one first, let the chemical reaction happen while you perform the rest of the indole and citrate tests and observations. And to better understand the MRVP test, we have to first look at the broth. The broth is a glucose broth. And what happens with the bacteria in this broth is that it actually ferments the glucose. What happens in the process of fermentation is that some acid is produced. The MRVP test informs you of what happened with that acid. So you'll have two test tubes, add MR reagents to one and VP reagents for the other. And you're gonna wait to see if one turned red. If your MR tube comes back and it's red, that means the acid is still present. Or your VP test will come back red, and that means the acid was neutralized. And because these two reactions are completely opposite, there's no way that your MR and VP test can both come back positive. One will have to be negative and one will have to be positive. A good test question here is, why do we use glucose in the broth rather than another sugar like lactose? As you're waiting for the results of your MRVP test, you can go ahead and move over to indole. This is gonna be the next most time consuming. The indole, what we actually do here is we're using a SIM test. And what SIM stands for is sulfur, indole, and motility. And we're actually going to be able to see all three results in this test tube. Firstly, sulfur. If in your test tube, you have some sort of black precipitate, it doesn't matter how little or how much. If you have black precipitate, this is indicative of a positive sulfur test. We're gonna skip indole really quick to jump over to motility. Motility is not so cut and dry as our sulfur test, but here you're gonna to wanna to look at the test tube with your motility portion. Near the stab site, you might see some cloudiness, but this is just some growth of the bacteria. If you were to have a positive motility test, the whole test tube will be cloudy not just a little bit of it near the stab site, but the entire test tube will be cloudy. So make sure that you're able to decipher a partially cloudy test tube from a fully cloudy test tube. That is how you're gonna know whether or not that you have a positive motility test or not. Once you've examined the test tube for these two things, you can move over to the indole test. The indole test requires a reagent called COVAX reagent. And when you add your COVAX reagent, this reaction will happen at the top layer of the test tube, because remember, this is a solid agar test tube. If you have red, when you add COVAX reagent at the top of the test tube, this means that you have a positive indole test, meaning that your bacteria has the enzyme tryptophanase, 
which allows it to break down the protein tryptophan. Lastly, your citrate test. The citrate test takes virtually no time at all and all that you're doing here is looking for a simple color change. The color change that you're looking for is from a green to a blue color. And what this means is that the bacteria has the enzyme citrate permease. What citrate permease does is it brings citrate into the cell of the bacteria and allows it to use it as a carbon source for things like the Krebs cycle. Now, the way that we know that this actually happened is because during that process, the bacteria create something called sodium bicarbonate. But essentially, CO2 reacts with water to make sodium bicarbonate. That sodium bicarbonate causes an increase in pH. That increase in pH is actually what changes the color from green to blue. And of course, if your bacteria doesn't have citrate permease, you will just get back a green test tube. So some good test questions when you're looking over your Invic test is what does this profile tell you about your bacteria? What kinds of things does it use as a carbon source? And also, what did we learn about the bacteria from our sim test? Because we not only learned about the metabolic processes from these three tests, but because we use the sim test, we learned two other things here as well. What does this tell us about our bacteria? And this is gonna be very critical for you to determine the analysis of this bacteria because the Invic test is something that you're going to use when determining your unknown bacteria at the end of your quarter or semester. And here's some additional questions that I have for you guys that you can place the answers to in the comment section. And if you have any additional questions, please feel free to leave those in the comment section as well. Don't forget to check the description for the study guide materials. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see all of you in the next one.